With the rotation of the public education zone, I've had a bunch of requests for um, pre-incident plans that are already submitted. So I ran a query against the database, and I have this Excel file for you that has all the pre-incident plans that have been submitted already. Um, you can see here we have the inspection date. That's when the inspection was completed. Uh, the current fire zone, and then also the current public education zones along with the shifts. And so if you're on engine 23C, this address here is going to fall within your your pre-incident plan zones currently. And so it's pretty easy to work with this. I already have the filters turned on. These are these arrows here. All you have to do is click on that arrow, uh, uncheck that, and then you can come down here and uh, select whatever station and shift you are. Let's go to 21Bs, click OK. And that's going to filter the database just to 21Bs. As you can see right here, it's filtering. Um, you can remove that filter by either coming here and checking all that, or you can say clear the filter from the stations and shifts. You can also sort this sheet. If, for instance, you want to sort the newest pre incident plans, you can click it within that column and go up here to the data tab and then come here. This is, would be from the oldest to the newest, and this would be from the newest to the oldest. Sort on that, and then these are the most current plans down to the ones previous. You can do the same thing on the address here. You can come, come here and you can sort the address uh, by numerical value. For missing addresses, that's how they show up. Um, and then you can come here and then you can sort again or filter just to your station and your shift. And so it should be pretty easy for you to find addresses this way. Uh, let's go ahead and sort that again like this. And so there you go. You see the addresses are in numerical order. So that's how you work with this. The same thing can be said if you scroll to the other side. If uh, Let's go ahead and clear this, clear that filter. If we scroll to the far right here, it's where the officer's ID number and name are located. Keep scrolling here. So you can see right here, if I want to filter uh, by a specific ID number, I can choose that. And so you can actually see which pre-plans you've submitted and scroll back and kind of come here and find out what's going on. Um, if you get lost, just go ahead and click this filter icon here. It'll turn those filters off. It'll clear the worksheet again. Click anywhere within the worksheet and you can turn those filters back on. Um, that's it. If you have specific questions about pre-incident plans, please direct those to the Public Education Division. If you have a question about this worksheet or something like that, go ahead and give me a call um, and I'll help you out.